The major milestones in life tend to be the things you'll never forget. Your first kiss, moving out of home. Your first dog, moving into your dream home. And today marks what is one of the biggest milestones of all, because if it hadn't happened already, today marks when boy becomes man. I have never been this excited for something on my property. This is the biggest investment I've ever made for the property. Better get kitted out for it. Are you ready? I'ma tell our kids about this someday. Okay everyone, time to meet the newest addition to the family, Stephen, AKA Cat Stevens. Stephen, meet everyone. So Stephen is a three ton, 13 year old excavator that after some friendly negotiations with my neighbor is now mine. <laughs> I couldn't be more excited, but I have to admit, I'm also a little bit nervous. I have never driven an excavator before. And to be completely honest with you, I didn't realize it was gonna be parked in his shed here, which seems kind of tight. Let's, um, let's take it nice and easy getting it out. You guys better step back a bit. You too, Ock. Oh, I don't think you're gonna fit, buddy. Out. Go on. Hey, look at me. He's too deaf to hear you, man. Hey, go on. Kennel. Hey, kennel. Look at me. Kennel. Good boy. Now to figure out how to turn this thing on. <sighs> this is literally. <laughs> My first time getting it going. Yes, door shut. All right, wish me luck. Wow, it seems really close in now. Well, that was, <laughs> that was far scarier than I anticipated. My neighbor was far too trusting then. The good thing I can see at the moment is even Oki can outrun me at this pace. So, uh, Ock, you can just walk along with, buddy. The way this life is passing by, I don't wanna close my eyes. I see it like it's in a frame of Kodak moment every day with you. Ooh, just wait. I'ma tell our kids about this someday. I can already tell it's gonna be love. And hopefully, the first cat that Oki's ever loved. What do you think, Ock? What do you think about our new baby, huh? Yeah? You're saying, where's the spot for me in it? Quick juice break. Team Pulp? Or not Team Pulp? Team Pulp all the way. And whilst we are on break, for those wondering what's going on with the kitchen after I did the full install last video, I'm just giving it a little bit of time while I decide on color and everything, but thank you all for your recommendations and the love on it. Honestly, I'm so stoked on having this space. Let me give you a quick tour inside. Are you all ready for this? This is my favorite feature I've found so far. We have speakers. Three points of contact getting in. <laughs> it's funny. My girlfriend really didn't see what was so exciting about an excavator and I bet probably half of you are also in the same boat, but the other half Know that this is dreams come true. Excavator. 
Now, let me give you a quick rundown of controls. So it's a bit So what I love about this already is it's like a video game. Putting that one down engages everything. And the way this works is that you use both your feet and both your arms. So this control moves the bucket like this. And then this little toggle moves the bucket, tilts the bucket side to side. This control moves the arm back and forth. So moves the whole body of the excavator. And then there's also this one that lifts up the little bar at the bottom. And it's got a lot of power, look at this. I can lift myself right off the ground with that and it really stabilizes for digging. The idea is that you can do everything all at the same time. And there you have it folks. Now this button is very enticing. I haven't switched that yet, I'm too scared. I can just see myself having so, so much fun in this. Honestly, I bought this older machine and the only reason I kind of was brave enough to take the leap was because my neighbor got it off his friend who was a mechanic and he was the only owner that had it for a long time. Leading into this, I did feel the need to kind of justify such a big expense, but honestly, it is gonna be a game changer on this property. There's so many things that I plan on using it for that is actually gonna save me a lot of money. As a lot of you saw at the end of the last video, I kind of told you I was pretty sore. I've been working really hard and I'm not getting any younger. So I figure anything that's gonna take the strain off my back, as my dad always says, I only get one back. This thing's gonna do it. I'm a little bit worried it's gonna rain and this excavator has always been garaged and I really, really wanna keep it in prime condition. I think I need to work out a garage solution before I do anything else. But I ended up going with a temporary carport. Multiple reviews online said that they put it up on their own in under two hours. We've got an hour of light left. Let's see how we go. Two person plus. We'll see. Those knots really slowed me down. Okay. Covers. <laughs> that thunder's getting closer. funny if after all that it doesn't fit and for reference hour and ten minutes not bad for in the dark and the rain Well, didn't expect to be doing night driving on my first day or anything quite so precision, but um, we're in folks, we're fully undercover. And with that, we say goodnight. Somewhere in here is my plumbing the connections to be able to turn the water off to the house from the tank. Now, I want you to be honest. For those playing at home, put your hand up if you knew I even had a water tank back there. Fair enough if you didn't, it is so hidden and everything here has become so overgrown. 
I actually looked at getting my water tank professionally cleaned because who knows how long it's been. I know the previous owner probably didn't do it for a very long time. But the problem is they came out and they said, with how overgrown this area has become, they can't even get access for their truck to come out and clean it properly. This here would be backbreaking labor to do by hand. But not with Stephen. Not with Stephen. Welcome back to Max's Excavator Channel. This is how we're going to start today. Just to give a bit more reference of where we are, house, water tank, and what I can already see here, a few sneaky devil's figs, and I can see a couple of tobacco in there, so I'm looking forward to ripping them out. But, things like this guy are what's really going to put the excavator to the test. What do you reckon? Can I clear all that within a few hours? All I know is I'm going to have fun doing it. And that's the main thing. This is really what I dreamed about with this property. It is truly just a big boy toy paradise. And I know some of you are jealous. But what about you, sir? You're still saying, where's my spot on Stephen? I need to make you a little ledge, don't I? A little seat on there. Now, which one will be best for ripping? Maybe you. Rise. Rise pipe. We'll just get this whole, whole pipe past you guys. Then I'll be able to get the excavator in clean up a little bit to stay. I absolutely love this. And, I mean, overalls are made to be dirty, right? And have a look at this. My mandarins are starting to pop. Part of the reason for clearing this area here is that I wanna make this whole corner a fruit forest to really start growing a lot more of my own fruit. I've already got lemons, limes, oranges and mandarins, and some mulberries. I'd love to get more. I know a few of you think I probably should wash my hands. You're probably right. Bit of dirt, never hurt anyone. Mmm. Mandarins are ready. Oh. All right, folks, I'm gonna smash some music and um, let's see what Steven can do. You know this one's for me, right, don't you? You know this one's for me. I'll see you on the other side. Quite a few people told me not to get a smaller excavator because you'll regret it because it doesn't have enough power. Well, I definitely don't uh, feel that way with with Cat. That was incredible. Listen to those birds chirping. Hey, buddy. realize I have a very interested guest. With all this dirt I'm churning up, I'm obviously bringing a lot of grubs and bugs to the surface and uh, old mate's ready. Yeah, I'm going back on the machine. Sorry, buddy. Smash through lunch because I was just keen to get back on Steve. I might have to change Steve's name. Um, <clears throat> I just had confirmation from 
two of my mates. They're coming out tomorrow and I am super keen to introduce you to them because not only are they traveling around, they're in one of the most epic rigs I've ever seen, but also with their arrival, I think it's time to announce something that is gonna change this property and the way kind of I live on this property more than potentially even Stephen has. Sorry, Stephen. Well, she may seem like a little bit of overkill, but we have a trench for that little pipe now. But she's a biggie. So water is flowing through and I'm kind of just checking at any of the connections but they all look really dry. Time to fill her all in and make her look nice and neat. Jeez, days are getting short here. We've just had the shortest day of the year, so not a lot of time to work with, but I'm just gonna spend the rest of tonight just tidying it up, putting her away. What a glorious day it's been. Friends come tomorrow. You! Good morning. It's actually so nice to feel a little house proud and to have this space so clean and cozy whilst being able to do outside jobs honestly has been the biggest game changer for me. Before we get into the day, I wanna say a quick thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. As a lot of you know, I've been using Surfshark for years and it is especially important for me when I'm traveling and relying on public Wi-Fi. For example, at the moment, I'm in the Remarkles in New Zealand. There's only Wi-Fi here, but Surfshark got me protected. No one gonna hack me while I'm on the mountain, and I can continue to have a good holiday. By the way, thanks for your patience. <sighs> Surfshark is a VPN app and browser extension that protects you and your online details like passwords, bank details, and photos. It encrypts your data, leaving it untraceable for people trying to steal it. One of the things I love most about Surfshark is that you can use it across unlimited devices, even if you're using them all at the same time. No other VPN allows that. But the funnest feature of Surfshark is that with a simple click, it allows you to change your IP address to another country, meaning you get access to all the online goodies that may not be available in your country. Hot tip, the Australian Netflix. Kind of sucks. Click the link in the description below and you'll get an exclusive offer of four months free with a 30 day money back guarantee. So no risk for you. Use the code MAXOKI to directly help this channel and happy surfing. <laughs> Looks like the cleaner has arrived. Keep up the good work, Dobby. I'm gonna let Dobby keep doing his thing this morning. It's actually the first time I've owned a robot vacuum and Oki, <laughs> Oki doesn't love him. He goes between ignoring him and kind of feeling displaced by him. So instead, I'm gonna bring Oki out here because my friends are coming today. They've got a dog, Leo, and Leo is always so clean and Oki has a bit of a thing for Leo. So I wanna give Oki a bit of a pamper. But I tell you, he's avoiding his bath. Oc, come on. Time for the spa session, buddy. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> he knows. You know you enjoy this in the long run, eh? Get a nice temp. There we go. Look. Lovely. Nice and warm. Take the color off. Have you ever seen those videos of dogs on Instagram that just love getting a bath? Oki ain't one of them. Oh. oh, no. Ah, ah. Stay. Good boy. Ah. Buddy. <laughs> He's edging dark. 
<laughs> so now you can sit. Shake, other hand, good boy. Okay, wait. Well, lock, you outlasted the battery. You are definitely Leo ready now, Ock. I'm not gonna lie, I've given it a clean up for you guys. Oh, mate, I'm touched. Wow. Oh, oh dude, it's a proper little house now. That looks sick. Wow. That would have been so... I mean, it's not like, I'm still deciding whether to sand it back or paint it or what, but I like it. I don't know, I wow. kind of like the timber. Yeah, came up good, huh? So dude, good. it should be stoked. Oven's working, I haven't no actually way. cooked oh, anything sick. in it yet. Oh, you smell nice. What did you do? Oh, did you roll in? Leo, you're really making Oki look good now. Did you roll in Patty Melon shit? He yes. did. Oh, buddy. Oh, it's all over his head. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not near me, mate. Yeah. No. Oh, Leo. You're in the doghouse. That is something I'm very glad Oki never picked up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he knows he's done oh, wrong. You're covered. Yeah. I just realised. I didn't introduce these guys. Yeah. Glenn and Kendall, also known as Kendall and Glenn, Great. and Leo. Leo. One of the reasons I was so keen for these guys to come back out here, other than it's obviously good to catch up, <laughs> these guys are going to be moving onto the property, yeah. and which is so, so exciting. exciting. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and our friends, when we're in New Zealand, also have just told me that they want to pile on, so it could be the commune that I've been hoping for. How long have you been on the road now? Oh uh, god, like four and a half to five years. Yeah, yeah. forever. Basically <laughs> full time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've been yeah traveling all around Australia. Basically completed our lap, but we've just kept going because yeah. we love it so much. Well, we love it, and we also have no real option to move anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford to buy, and we don't want to rent because we can still live so free on the road. I guess so. That's where you come in. Yeah. Where Max comes <laughs> in. <laughs> so the plan is that these guys and Leo, so another dog on the property, which I'm yes. also very excited about. We're sussing out tiny home sites. They are going to build a tiny house kind of in this area, which is not a bad spot. No. Not a bad spot unbelievable. at all. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. It's so exciting to have some property to work on. I feel like I'm, I want to help out with so many different things. Yeah. And you know what else is going to be very handy? Yes, I put a deposit on a shed. No way! Up there. So we're gonna have a workshop just up the hill. Yes. Oh, yeah. I actually haven't even told you guys about it, but that's one of the reasons I was getting the excavator is because we're gonna be doing the shed base. I might even pull you into helping me with that, guys. Absolutely. And um, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be big. Yeah, yeah, that's a massive shed. It's massive. What do you think, bro? <laughs> yeah. Still filthy. Coop boy. I am the scale model. <laughs> They're perfect. <laughs> this is, how many dogs tall is it? So at the moment, we're just making sure there's access to bring in a tiny house on a trailer and that's a tiny skyscraper that's yeah. going to hit that. <laughs> yes. So there is another extension. Oh, this is so much better now. It's not so short. Yeah. It's really big. Oh my God. Massive. I feel like with shed size does matter though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is huge. Pretty big. It's going to be a lot of concrete. Hey, you can even level it. I love how it looks like you're just the audience overhearing <laughs> Glenn and I try and figure out how to fit this big shed. <laughs> what do you What do you reckon about that, huh? Very exciting, apparently. We're gonna end shed talks for a little bit and have a look at these guys' space they've been living out of. Glenn literally rebuilt the engine on this thing. I spent six months. Thanks to YouTube and forums on Facebook, basically figuring it out. I hadn't really done anything mechanically before. And then it was like a Pandora's box. It was like, if I'm doing the engine, I should replace the bulkhead. And if I'm replacing the bulkhead, I'll take the whole front end off. And if I take the front end off, I'll paint the whole thing. And it turned into fighting off way more than I could chew, I think, but. Worth it though, yeah. Yeah. It's done. So good. What year is it? 1982. And it looks brand new again. It's still one of the shinier engines for an old one. In a duck egg blue. A thing of beauty. How many times has it broken down? <laughs> uh, Definitely tiny. It is tiny. <laughs> very, very tiny, but it works for us. 
I sat comfortably and measured how tall it was from my butt to my head. Yeah. And then reverse engineered the space required. So you can actually like comfortably lounge there. If you're taller than me though, you <laughs> You've got plenty of space. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love this. This is our big kitchen. Our big kitchen. Yeah. Big kitchen. I reckon if anyone's going to do anything, do one of these. This can still hold heaps of weight, so I can have a bunch of stuff up on here and still be able to like lift it up and grab stuff and put it away. And is the tent easy to pop up? Very easy. It's pretty heavy with all the boards on. It looks super heavy duty. Yeah. yeah, it's the only one I think that can hold this much weight. They can get in any side. All right, I'll open the sides up though so we can uh, actually see inside. Here's yeah. Little shoe holder. <laughs> Very nice. I love how the surfboards are just... <laughs> They're clinging. One of the major thing for us was like we needed a rooftop tent that held all the boards on. There was no way we were gonna every single night have to take the boards off and then put them back oh, on. Oh, for sure. No way. Oh, and we weren't gonna have any less boards. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> four is the least amount. How many comments on Nigel do you get a day? It depends if we're around a lot of old men. They <laughs> <laughs> love it. Middle aged men love it. I'll get out of action mode with the crocs. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's tricky one-handed and the view out it's so nice so like three open sides yeah how high does it feel when you're up here wow yeah you feel really high yeah up here. yeah it's pretty high guys that is sick <laughs> do you just pee off the top <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> We've trained our bladders now to never need to go at night. And I love that Leo just has his whole little Lux yeah. home in there. Right? Like he has the best setup now. I had a feeling where some of the mess had gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, we've all done that trick. Yeah. The front, the cab of any van or something. Yeah. yeah. Air conditioning? Nope. This is our air conditioning. Oh, that just brings in it is, air. We're driving. <laughs> Woof. If it's hot outside, we have hot air, and if it's cold outside, we have cold air. Yeah. So, Kendall was fur. actually the first to rock the kind co. Covered in dog fur, but... <laughs> and sand. And sand. Well used, Love that. <laughs> Smallest home ever. As much as it's such an epic setup, I can see you We're looking ready. forward to a little bit more space yeah. after yeah. so long. Yeah. yeah. Particularly being so long on yeah. the road. Yeah, like we love this kind of travel, but it's like nice to have a home base and a yeah. space to leave this if we don't want to do it all the time. What do you think, Lay? You I reckon he could enjoy living with a bit more space here and chasing the paddy melons. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so I didn't mention it, but I actually met these guys in Exmouth almost two years ago now. When we were there, we were actually talking about the potential of starting a commune. So yeah, I guess yeah. it's happening and I'm so stoked about it. And Obviously, it's helping those guys out to be able to stay here, but it's also helping me out a lot. They actually have a YouTube channel together. I'll put it on the page here, but go check it out. Subscribe and you'll see a lot more of them. So keen for this next chapter. Yeah, it's very exciting. excited. Very excited. Let me know if you guys are excited too. I certainly am, and Oki is for sure too. We're going to have dinner now, so yes. we'll see you guys later. Oki looks good in front of Nice. He does. <laughs> he does. Like, yeah. Yeah, I used to live on the road too. Thank you so much for watching. Be kind to yourself, be kind to one another, and I'll see you in the next one.